Hi everyone. So day four today. I'm going to continue on with the decorating of my home. i got to get a couple things, some garland and command strips and oh, I don't know, some other stuff. Um, I figure that I'm not going to be finished at all until Christmas Day because, you know, I have that condition, that perfectionism that rears its ugly head and I'm going to see something and I'm never going to like it and I really just got to learn to be satisfied and happy with the things I do. So I'm going to work on it today and be happy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, what else do I have to do? Um, oh, parent-teacher interviews today, yay, for my son's um, school. <laughs> that should be interesting. And, um, oh, my par my in-laws are coming over to help us decorate the tree. My mother-in-law is this phenomenal decorator. And um, with the stuff I have, she's always able to make it look a lot nicer than what I would make it look. So uh, that'll be fun. So I'm going to make dinner tonight. What else do I have? Um, oh, I forgot. I had this. I was looking forward to this mother's get-together at my son's uh, school because he's going to a new school. Unfortunately, I forgot that I had this family function, so I'm going to have to cancel out. And I'll have to figure out something else and meet the new mom some other way. Um... Actually, tomorrow I have a Mother's Day tea, so I'll be able to maybe meet some of them there. So that should be exciting. Um, I'm going to be taking my mother, and that will be fun. And, I don't know, just odds and ends. have to go to work and do some things there. But uh, it should be a fun-filled day. So uh, hopefully you guys stay tuned and see what I'm up to. Thanks for watching. I'm just about to have breakfast and I'm having two hard boiled eggs. Um, what I do to boil my eggs is I put it in a pot and cover the eggs up. I let it boil. Once it's boiled I turn off the stove and cover it and put the timer on for 20 minutes. Once the 20 minutes are done uh, I just take it out and it's ready to eat. While I'm having my breakfast I'm going to go through my Martha Stewart cookies recipe book and tag the recipes that I want to uh, use for this uh, Christmas uh, baking season and also that way it'll help me um, access the recipes uh, easily and I'll be able to make a list of ingredients that I need so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and have my breakfast and there's my my other mug uh, my Santa mug that I'm using this morning. Um, I noticed that the shellac or the varnish um, on it is starting to crack a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it says it's dishwasher safe and I put it in the dishwasher but I'm thinking that I might have to hand wash these because um, they're kind of getting some lines. Makes it look a little bit more aged and antiqued but I just want to make sure that I can keep them. Well, I've tabbed a bunch of recipes that I'm, I'd am i like. I don't know if I'm going to use them all, but I'm going to um, look at them again later. And I still have some other recipes that I make every year that I must make. So I, this would be crazy trying to get all, like to try to do all these recipes. So I'm going to pare it down a little bit later. I've had my breakfast. Uh, I'm going to be off to uh, work and um, do some errands and then I have to go to the parent-teacher interview. Okay, so I'm off to um, see my son's teachers this afternoon and I'm off to the store and to do some errands. But I wanted to show you, look at my string here, uh, I wanted to show you what I'm wearing. This channel, it's not about like outfits of the day and anything like that. I'm more um, doing this channel to help me get organized with my things and um, hopefully it helps you and it inspires you to um, get yourself ready for Christmas. Uh, I'm not about, well, I'm a mom so um, I don't have disposable income to just buy designer stuff so I just make do with what I have and like this um, 
poncho my daughter gave me, I think for Christmas a couple years ago. Um, I just have jeggings on and some boots. And I have my big huge uh, purse that I put everything in. It's heavy and I think that's what's giving me a um, shoulder ache or a neck ache. I'm going to have to try to figure out how to um, reduce the weight in this, but I don't know if I'll be able to. So I'm off. I curled my hair because I wanted to look somewhat presentable for my son's teacher. All right, my son wanted a um, what are these called? Advent calendars, and so my daughter convinced me to get this beautiful Barbie one. What do you think, Jordan? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Tonight uh, I'm making chicken fajitas, and it's just a very quick and easy way. I even bought packaged seasoning and then we're gonna have this for dessert it's strawberry shortcake um, because we're decorating the tree tonight and um, so I have to move um, I have to move my sofas around to get the Christmas tree in that corner there can you see this they're putting the tree up I've never seen this before this is, oh did you really I I don't even remember. <laughs> Apparently they've been doing it for the last, this will be the third year of putting it up. I'm such a lucky mom. I've got the chicken here and I'm marinating it in a little bit of um, Corona beer. And then I'm going to add the fajita mix to it and it'll just coat the, um, the breast. And then I barbecue the chicken breast and I cut them in strips and then I add my vegetables to it. Um, I'm just pouring in the first the content of this old El Paso fajita mix and I'm just going to stir it and then I'll probably because I'm not sure how much liquids in here I want to make sure it's coated so I'm going to leave the second package up till after meanwhile I have just chopped up or sliced the green peppers and the onions and I will saute them and mix them together. So then once that's done, I will barbecue the chicken. Once it's marinated and coated again with the fajita mix. And then I'll mix all three things together. Now the onions are sauteing. And then I will add the green peppers. I've added the green pepper. And now I'm just sauteing it together. So my onions are nicely caramelized because there's a lot of, like it's sort of brown and that means that um, it's going to be nice and sweet and caramelized. And I'm not, I've turned off the, um, the, the, the fire or the range because um, I, the chicken's still not ready so I don't want to overcook my vegetables. So before uh, I, I guess about maybe two or three minutes before the chicken's ready, I'll re-fry this and then um, add the chicken to it. I've taken the chicken out of the fridge and I drained most of it. And I'm going to pour the next bag of fajita mix in there to coat it and then we'll barbecue it. So it's coated now and it's just ready to be barbecued. Tater tots are in the oven, getting ready. Okay, so my mother-in-law has given us a gift, an ornament for the tree, so my daughter's just opening it up. Oh, it's very pretty. Thank you, Bum. Oh, very pretty. Thank you, Bum. Sorry about the noise. We're watching, um, what is that? National Lampoon's vacation, Christmas vacation. Just wanted to show you. This is the fajita, and oh, there's the cilantro in there. Just a simple meal. Oh, that's really scary. My tree is looking very pretty because I'm on the phone. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, And Lexi. Yeah. <laughs> JK, no. <laughs> my tree is done. Didn't my mother in law and Lexi do a great job? Tons of ornaments and tons of memories. Um, just different things like. There's that popsicle sick Rudolph that both kids have one of have made one of these um, in elementary school. Um, this ornament here, 
my daughter made when she was in preschool. It's looking kind of crazy now, but I always love seeing it. <clears throat> this is an ornament that my son or daughter made in school. And this one here my son made. <laughs> Here's another one he made. Big blob of red. <laughs> And my mother-in-law um, gave me this, I think, two years ago. And there's a, one of Cleo. And if you look, there's another one. Hmm. Oh, here it is, of Thule. Right here. And then this was my son in either grade one or grade two. And um, just, oh, here. My mother-in-law gave this. To my son, it says, Dear Santa, leave presents, take my sister. And then I have one um, over here that says, Dear Santa, leave presents, take my brother. And just a lot of um, dance ornaments. This one here, I designed this. And um, when I was a Sparks leader for, for Girl Guides, um, I created this design with a little white feather, some ribbon, a wooden bead, and pipe cleaners. And each girl made one, and we still have it. And she was in kindergarten that time, so we still have it to this day. And we had like a... Um, Christmas tree ornament party when I didn't have that many uh, ornaments and I had every guest bring an ornament and uh, also my other girlfriend made this and just tons of memories a lot of dance ornaments because my mother-in-law always gives my daughter an ornament every year so Christmas is here. Uh, I am going to sign off now. It's been quite a day and now my home is almost ready for Christmas, especially with the Christmas tree up. So thank you guys for watching. Take care.